What is good, ladies and gents? It's your boy, Gold Sharpie. We're back with another FAU Dynasty video, College Football 25. We're on a seven game winning streak. We have a big American Conference game and opponent today. We're on the road against East Carolina, but there's some things we gotta check out first. So let's get to it. First and foremost, you know, we gotta hit up that recruiting trail. So far, man, we've locked up some commitments. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight commitments thus far. The top class is currently, you got Miami. We're talked about potentially taking over the U. Fortunately, guys, they're balling right now. So I don't know if that's gonna happen anytime soon. You got LSU two, Notre Dame three, Texas four, Ohio State five. Where are we at currently with our eight commitments? We gotta go down a good bit, but 47th overall is not too bad. It's not bad. I'll take that all day, especially in our first season at the helm of FAU. Back to the recruiting board. 40 hours to spend. I'm just going to keep these guys. I don't think we need to necessarily visit unless we get some heat from an opponent or another school that's kind of creeping up. But I think we can just keep it as is. But what I'm going to do is start putting a little more points on some of these other guys. See if we can get a little more interest from them. We'll keep you all updated as time progresses, but that's going to do it for recruiting. Let's take a look at the playoff rankings. So Michigan is at one. Oklahoma prize team at 8-1. They are ranked number two. Bama is three at six and two. You got Georgia four, Ohio State five, LSU six, Maryland seven, NC State eight, Kansas nine, Kansas State 10, Florida 11, and Oregon 12. Guys, I think you're going to see this in real life. Just chaos everywhere. I mean, with these kind of super conferences coming together, you're going to see these teams cannibalize one another. The days of 2018, Clemson going 15-0, 2019 LSU 15-0, Michigan last year, so on and so forth. I think those days are over, guys. It'll be rare to see 16-0 teams, especially in the Big Ten and SEC. That's just my opinion. Let me know your thoughts. It's going to be a wild season. Miami lost again. Listen, if our plan comes together, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to play with FAU until we get the Miami job. We're going to make this hopefully the Miami Dynasty on the channel. And then we will start a second one once all the major patches, roster updates, all that good stuff. Let me know your thoughts. We could always keep it FAU. It's up to you guys. But look at Texas. They're 4-4. Four four. How are they still ranked? So conference standings. We are the only undefeated team left standing thus far. Hopefully we can keep that up. But this is such an important game, guys, against East Carolina. This is a talented team. They're 6-2, and 3-1 in the conference. We need to keep ahead of these other teams. UAB and Rice are the other competitors in Memphis, Charlotte, Tulsa, North Texas, Temple. are hanging around as well. Players of the week. Brennan Presley of Oklahoma State and Caleb McKenzie of Louisiana Tech. Updated Heisman watch, Jalen Milrow and Dylan Gabriel still at the top two. You got Jackson Arnold making a big push. Taysen P coming back in the top five and then Kyron Jones of B Tech. Updated bowl projections. We're still projected to go to the Frisco Bowl. This time we're projected to play ULL. So we'll see if that keeps up as the season progresses. Updated look at the college football bracket if the season were to end today. I mean, look, you got Wake Forest, who's ranked 21st in the country as your four seed. I really hope that doesn't happen. Hopefully, I mean, Oklahoma should be the number two team in the country. They're ranked fifth, man. So hopefully the major patch that updates the SEM logic and the college football playoff logic, it works for existing saves. Let's pray for that. Let's hope it works for existing saves. If not, it's going to be a huge bummer, man. So here is ECU, the Pirates roster. Speaking of Miami, you have their former QB, Jake Garcia. He's going to be the starting quarterback, 80 overall. Raji Harris, 80 overall. I mean, this team is not that good, guys probably say that about every team but i'm confident man i'm confident that we can win this game before we get started i want to let y'all know this game is gonna be played on heisman for the first time in season one i think we're ready to level up i think it's time you know scared money don't make money nine minutes accelerated clock 17 as a minimum play clock time and as far as just the changes i put interceptions at 15 on both sides speed threshold just down slightly to 47 try that out if you have good sliders let me know be more than happy to try them out it is time guys what swag we're we gonna work with red white and blue baby let's get to it to it's go time State. guys first game on heisman in our first season college football 25 as, as the head coach of fau i'm excited about this one man lock in let's get to it Rested 
Wasted and ready, coming off a bye, the East Carolina Pirates. 48 Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David. We'll deliver the opening kickoff and we'll get this game rolling. Let's get to it. Big game. From inside his own five. Not Get down. A lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the They're shaggy. They stop him at the 21. So East Carolina's offense Rizma that he has it sort of elevates everyone around him. He's got a moxie about him, Reese. Just seems like when he's in the huddle, he's got 10 other sets of eyeballs. On first down, it's second and 10. Cricket. Check. Unlock. Alert. Garcia wants to throw. It's complete. To hey. New set of downs after that completion. Good defense. Off of the RPO. And when you run these run pass options, you want to take a little bit of time to stick it in that running back's belly. Read the defense weapon for any offensive coordinator in the first quarter because it's reliable, obviously, but it also allows you to see how the defense is going to react and play you. So for coordinators, this can really open Picked. up the rest oh, of the Oh, good defense nonetheless. Let's go, boys. Pick on the opening drive. Instead, it's fourth down. He'll bring it back. It's Tucker. Couldn't get away from that cover team, and they've got him down at the 23. So Ford Atlantic's offense will have it. Keep everybody calm. These guys typically do a really good job. Yeah, David, and they also generally set the tone for their respective step up in big games like this. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Pressure coming. They get oh, to no. him as he throws. Yeah, Heisman feels a little bit tougher <laughs> as it should. Looking downfield, it's Fancher. Get off that block. Get the position. Look at that, bro. Look at that. Look at that. We don't get that pick, but they do. That's bull. ECU would have been a fresh team to be. I ain't gonna lie. ECU would have been fresh. Will go to work. After punting the last time they had it, they ought to be set up for a much better result with this drive. You ain't lying. Forget about the last possession and what we did. You're already in scoring position. Take care of that football. Make sure you get some points. Keep it on the ground. Oh wow. Yep. Scoring position yep. Heisman is here, ladies and gents. Buckle up. Gonna be a bumpy ride. Trying to pound it in. Good tackle. Even goal from the four. As a quarterback, you've got to know in this area of the field, it's tough to throw, right? The windows, they open and close. Oh, wow. It Dang it. Touchdown, East Carolina. When you're handed a break with unbelievable field position like that, you better finish the deal, and they did. You saw the quarterback jog on the field. I think he gave a high five to every one of those players coming off that just put them in position to go score that touchdown. That QB knew this was a golden opportunity. After punching it in for the touchdown. <laughs> He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking... After that last pick, David, they really need to take care of the ball this time. No doubt. And, and Paul, I want to know what Spurrier said to you. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Looking to throw, it's Fancher. Dude, he give her the smack. ball. On third and long, try to convert through the air. Fire the That's bull, dude. You, you got to catch that. It's so nice when you know it's third and long. You know a pass is coming. You worked on it all week. Get your feet set at the sticks. Understand. Back to work. And David, how they would love to stick it in the end zone one more time after that last drive. And once you get the defense on the heel, you're loving what's happening right now because everything you dialed up on that last drive ended up working out. You're just looking at your play sheet. Everything you're picking is working. Let's see if they can pull it off again here. Eight. Good defense. Let's go. Playing their assignments on the third play of that drive. They were expecting it and everyone communicating and all rallying to the football. That was nice to see it through the coaching staff. They just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find it's better as the game goes on. So we're going to want to make sure they keep feeding him the football, let him get loud. Go, boys. 
Let's go, boys. Let's get it. Just been running into a wall. They just couldn't seem to find their creases to get enough movement up front, but they finally got it there, picking up the first. Let's see what the heck was that. Second down for this offense. Dropping back, it's Fancher. Unloads to the wideout. How about they swat another one away, man? They are breaking on the ball. Unloads it left. No way, bro. I hate Heisman already. Timing between the quarterback as an intended target. As a result, ball falls incomplete, setting up for it. He'll get it to him and go to work. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing Back with Chris. No rhythm, second down. He's looking to throw. Got his man quickly. They make the stop, and that'll bring the first quarter to a close. Guys, East Carolina carries the lead into the quarter break. We've played one before we move on. Let's have a look at the stats. They'll give it on the counter. Good pick up on it. You can get some movement at the point of attack and find a little crease for your running back. It's a draw. No way, dude. A confident. The offensive line is selling pass. The quarterback selling pass. They don't get the handoff until the very last. Yes, heck of a play, man. Needed that. Let's go. It's freaking score, bro. Third and short, trying to throw the football. Take advantage of a look that they got. They quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. I think they got to be more physical, David. I think they'll become if you're the more physical team. If you can threaten the run and then then run play action, it opens up the whole offense at your disposal. The football, you know, you probably want to run the football. How can you be more physical? Sometimes brings some extra bodies, some extra tight ends in. I want to run the quarterback sneak, run the football. But this team fully comfortable throwing the football. And you... here comes the offense on second down, looking for a man. It's Fancher. Dances away from the pressure, going to his left. Catch the ball, the bro. Ball comes loose, and I gotta go through that guy. Use my shoulder pad, drive my feet. Really, really good catch. Good, catch. good can. That was a good catch. Thank forward. you. And that ball starts to come loose and pop out. Looking to throw it again. Scrambling away. Fires downfield. And this. After the incompletion, back to the passing game. Look at that. Long way to the sticks from here. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Blast no. It it How does that happen? He's wide open, bro. Got to make that throw. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make God, that makes me mad. The offense back to work. I can't make that mistake. Those are opportunities you can't miss, bro. You got to dunk those. You got to jam that when you get the opportunity, bro. It makes me mad. You're still winning. You got the football back. Now put a nice dink and dunk off and sit. Playing the tight end position. I can work the middle of the field for him. He's a guy who can stretch it vertically as well. But this is a guy for the QB will look for early and often. Get him. All right. He'll bring it back. It's Tucker. And he'll work his way. And had to punt the last couple of times they've had it, David. Now trying to put something together. But Reese, you know how much I love punters and kickers. Like, you do a little bit more productive offensively. And I think, David, on this drive, the quarterback's just got to settle down a little bit. These last oh, few drives, my God. Like play within himself. Third and short from the 44. And we might know if they Lock. plan to go for it on fourth down. Fighting with a fresh set of downs. Off the play fake on first down. Oh, he's going to try to hit him over the top. Football, no PI, able to swat it away, pass incomplete. A strong tackle. Set the tone, stay balanced. Wants to throw. It's Fancher. He dropped and it. Now he's got to make the catch. He's got to be able to make that play. Wow. FAU will send out the punt team. They'll look to pin him deep. Looking for a block. It's right. They'll get in the purple pirate offense. will go to work. They've hit a bit of a lull here, and they need to get things cranked up with this possession, Jesse. Just haven't had a rhythm down its management. All American were winning this game by 21. No doubt. A ton of their own. So now you can go answer with that good stop. Good hit. It's a big physical target, but it was the hit on the play that forced the incompletion. 
Out of the gun, the inside gear. Go. The Pirates will put this one away. Defense playing incredible. Our defense is good. Defense is legit. On the move, it's Tucker. Go monotonous. Hunt, 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 David. And their defense is starting to about to get sacked. Got room on the return. Running through contact. Man, this sucks. This sucks, bro. This is obviously not a great start for this quarterback here. Two interceptions already in this game. He's got to do a much better job with his decision. Throwing this game away, bro. Literally. But like, uh, dude has a free shot. You gotta throw it up. Dude has a free shot. Offense is just what they want here. dude. Trying to start the drive with a pass. Get it out on the screen. And now it's second and medium. Off play action. Throws to the wideout. Oh, thank God, the quarterback. Thank God, Jake Garcia can't hit the broad side of the barn. That was a touchdown. Garcia to pass. Quick completion on the out route. He's for first down. The Pirates are in the red zone. Going up top on first down. Going for it all. And he got his defense, the way he plays on the back end. Top 10 in the nation in interceptions. He just has a feel and reads the quarterback's eyes. He almost picked that last one. It really shows why you want to run the zone. Make them execute and rally to the ball. 100% zone eyes on the quarterback. Wide open. He makes the catch in the end zone. Man, this sucks, dude. That touchdown gives his team a pretty significant lead at this point. And that's what you want. You want to start fast. You want everything to come out and start clicking, make some plays. It doesn't always work. And they finish it off by connecting from 10 yards out. On the move from inside is five. He was looking for the Owls offense. We'll go back to work. Now you find out just how much of a gunslinger you are. Will you roll the dice here late in the half? Take a shot. See how much of a chunk you can get before then you decide really, Jesse, how you want to finish the half. You just can't turn it over and throw it. Heisman just makes our team feel so different. <laughs> I mean, it's incredible. Looking to throw, it's Fancher. Turns it loose. The pass on team. Third and short like that on your own side of the field. You're just looking for a quick hitter. You're trying to get the ball out of your hand quickly, but the timing completely off there for the offense, and the ball falls incomplete. That time, guys, we're down 14 zip. That changed something. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Guys, one of the best atmospheres in football, and we've got a fun one from Greenville. And it's been a battle of wills between these two teams through two quarters. Bend, but don't break. They've managed to neutralize the explosive playmakers on each side by shutting down passing windows and providing tight coverage. Forget the Jimmys and Joes. This second half could really be about the X's and O's. It's will line up to kick off and start the second half. He thought about All right, can we get something going, please? A bunch of yards, but step one, Jesse, taking care of the football. It just goes to show you how critical those mistakes are. Six yards a pop. I don't know if you guys are really good at math, but that usually equals a first down every couple carries. So don't forget about the run game. Keep them honest. Count and this offense can ill afford to come up empty on this drive, already trailing by multiple possessions. Oh, every time. Send out the punt team. And you got to wonder if this offense is going to go for it here. They're trailing now by a lot. I know there's a lot of football still to go. They need to stay out there, and they're going to need this quarterback to make a play. He wants to start this drive with a pass. Quickly complete. Well, then run to the right route when they're throwing that ball to the outside like that because those corners are sitting there on the inside, and the worst thing that could happen is to miss inside and that cornerback be going the other way. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll run it out of the shotgun. And the what the heck the was that, bro? Up a couple at second and eight. <laughs> oh, man. Some of the animations are still so wonky. Hey, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Take it to the house. Let's go, man. That's the freaking play we needed. Let's go. I'm talking about. 
do your dance, my boy. Really nice drive by this offense. This is do you a dance. top 10 defense. This is a challenge. They're going to make everything difficult. So when you can make some plays against this defense, you got to absolutely take advantage, create some momentum for your squad. Nice drive by this offense. Man, oh man, that can get your juices flowing, man. That's the spark we needed, the turbo boost. Oh no. Look at this. Look at this. A touchdown pass last time. It was just to the wrong team, Jesse. Well, that's an unfortunate part of the game for quarterbacks, but guess what? They do happen, so you've got to be able to turn the advantage of that. Maybe use that this time to your advantage. On the ground there the no dude you got to wrap up and he lives on first and ten from the 47. looking to move it through the air let's go chris and jones baby who sack for this defense oh that's a missed opportunity you know the quarterback was excited he saw man coverage he thought he was gonna have some people are like what <laughs> mike play, jones up front they could not protect him while some of y'all know what i'm talking about man you come from that air the good old days drive killer now it's second and 13. wide receiver coming across in motion garcia to pass Sweet feet on the move. The three yard line and it's third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Oh my God. The Pirates look to keep this drive humming. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Trying to find his man on first down. Of course, right when I put them underneath, they throw over the top. I mean, go figure, bro. I mean, really, I swear to God. I swear, I swear y'all. Y'all can see me do the edit. I did underneath. They're throwing these dink and the dunks and they freaking throw it over the top, bro. That's crazy. Heisman's on another level. The awareness is real. That's tough. I like it though. I like it. It's a cool little wrinkle. I gotta go see if the quarterback made a switch or a change at the line because I, I didn't notice it. Wow. Not gonna lie. I actually may practice some offline games against Heisman. I mean, this is crazy. Field is wider in this game than in 6 visually. That's kind of hard to. Fires to the wide out. Three of 24. Oh, we're going back to all American. We're going back to all American, bro. We have to. We have. That's crazy. That's crazy. Three of 24. That's awful. I got no time to throw. Makes sense. We only have a pick six better i'll do all american 60 sliders for the cpu try that out bro this heisman thing i ain't ready for this bro <laughs> i'm not ready for this i'm gonna keep it all under with y'all i gotta be honest i don't want to be blown out that's not good content but if y'all want me to stick with heisman stick with heisman stick with heisman we're getting cooked now we're getting, we're getting cooked and the Pirates come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. Not mud zone here on second down. Guys, East Carolina carries the lead into the quarter break. Let's take a quick look at the national rankings to see how this playoff race is shaping up. We hope the major patch also affects existing saves, man. I'll be so bummed if it doesn't. I'm not holding my breath. Honestly, I would just expect it not to, to be honest with you. The Pirates are threatening on first and goal. They'll go to the air. Let's go to the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, EC. Oh, man. There's no 
no mercy rule in college football, man. They've got a huge lead here in the fourth quarter. The kickoff unit about to go to work. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. Just never, and David, it was one, two, three, kick. That last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in that last drive. They got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. Getting some heat. Oh, I, I can't. I can't do anything. Pushing it throughout practice, you think you're going to have a chance to light up the scoreboard, but they're just not able to hook up. You got to give this team. Now, by multiple possessions, they can't come up empty on this drive in the fourth quarter. They'll go for it on fourth down. This is terrible, man. Not ready for Heisman. Not ready. Listen, they took back. I said we graduated. They took back that diploma. They said, Sharpie, you getting held back, bro. You getting held back today. Just trying to deal with it, man. Crazy. I think I think our quarterback's three of thirty. Not even kidding. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Even the field goal unit is on the field. He'll line it up from 34 yards out. It's good. He could have hit a string right in the middle of the uprights there. And they'll push that lead out, and the kickoff team's getting some work. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking. The FAU offense will return to the field. They'll give it to the back. Just enough there to get physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just. I mean, dude, I had nowhere for me to go. Troy. Stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. Going to throw it over the top of the D. And they can't hook a U. Will send out the punt team. Honestly, guys, I really think. Oh, roughing the kicker. I think we play on Heisman. Gonna be bad content. I think I'm gonna put up the sliders all American just a little bit. 60 across the board for the CPU and see how that goes. Hope you guys understand. Beat like this. So the offense keeps this drive alive thanks to the roughing the punter penalty. Gets it past the marker. Powell's will line it up on first and ten. I think it's just too little too late, David, at this point. That's a play that they could have used a lot late, and I don't think they're going to have enough time to claw back into this one. Yeah, and I'm fine with you running that play if you want to do that. My goal now is with this lead, if you want to run it, so they can burn it all the way down the field and take a lot of time off that clock. They'll run for it on third and short. Nice. This FAU offense is moving quickly. Looking to go up top on first down. Soft spot in the middle. I know. Maybe they can generate just a little bit of momentum and gain a little bit of confidence that they can keep coaching up heading into their chance. Now on second down. They'll give it to Johnson. They'll make the 25, but now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Come on, Tucker. Let's go. Finally, dude. Holy. It's route running, right? You got to be precise. You got to know exactly what yard you're running to. The quarterback receiver on the same oh. page. That's why you get the touch. Two does not work out. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And Carolina sending the offense back to work. David, they couldn't pay off that last drive with a touchdown. Now they move the ball down the field and execute like they want it. More creative ways to get your best players the ball. Let's see if they can do that here. They'll run it to keep the clock moving. Really, they're going to hit a home run. So why would you call it that? Well, you call it so third down becomes an easier down. It's not third and long where I have to pass the football. Now all options on the table. Run it away on fourth down. Number 12. It's third down. It's money down. And you could just tell something wasn't right from the get-go with that play. And, you know, it strung along and the option just didn't work. And the defense was very successful. Drive will get started from the 37-yard line. They'll throw it on first down. The sweet feet keeping the play alive. Bought a little time, lets it go. He's been under duress all game long, and that's a big reason why he's thrown multiple interceptions in the game, too. Nothing coming easy to him. It's hard to see the field when you're in trouble. Trying to move the sticks on third down. Catch in the middle, it's Mobley. And he fumbled, of course. 
Defense coming up. Defense gets the ball back for its own. The give to the tailback. Got for the First game on Heisman was a dud, guys. We're going to fall for the second time this year. That will end our seven-game win streak. We we'll lose 31-13 to East Carolina. You know, so they have the, the track to the number one the to the top. To me, that's what happened out there today. Yeah, top team in the conference if they went out. Because they, no they, they will have the tiebreaker on us. But frustrating loss, tough ball, loss. But we're going to have to bounce back. We'll check out the stats. Send the week and get up on out here. Appreciate you guys. Side of the football, just being in better rhythm early and trying to find that in their next game, I think, would go along. Yeah, and it's just finding a couple of those plays. What what do I do really, really well? Let's continue to build on that. Let's take away these. Man, this was a tough one. 31-13 is the final. We only had 141 yards of offense. Heisman was tough, man. Three turnovers, two picks, and one fumble. Just abysmal. I'm embarrassed to even show this, man. 7 of 35, Cameron Pancher. 78 yards, one touchdown, two picks. Johnson still had a pretty good day. 77 yards, five and a half per carry. Tucker had that one touchdown. Defensively, no sacks. We had that one pick by Tisdall, the pick six. Couple tackles for loss. Jake Garcia, 16 to 24, 161 yards, three touchdowns. Harris had 80 yards. Sewell had two touchdowns and 60 yards. Edwards had 12 tackles. Next time's video, y'all, we're we're gonna be on the road once again. We're heading to Philly, Philadelphia to play the Temple Owls. I truly appreciate all your support, man. I'm gonna see y'all next time. Y'all have a blessed night. Peace.